you know, this this idea of realizing our, our fullest potential is is one that scares so many people, but it's one that you talk about. And it's the idea behind IntelliKey, right? And and this this uh, you know, notion that we must realize our fullest expression of who we truly are. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because you you actually guide individuals and groups to live into their IntelliKey and that that's a, a sort of new word for me. I actually had to look it up before we got on this. I was like, all right, what is that? So maybe uh, talk about what is that that idea, the word itself, and how you help people guide into their IntelliKey. Yeah. Well, our IntelliKey is the fullest realized expression of who we came here to be in this life. And mm-hmm. I'll use a simple analogy. You know, some of us came here to be an apple and some of us came here to be an orange. And I can want to be an orange and I can try to be an orange and I can pretend to be an orange. But the truth is that I came here to be an apple. And when I learn to embrace my appleness and love being an apple and hold reverence for all things around what it means to be an apple, then I am aligning myself with the fullest expression of who I came here to be. And I also want to say, Casper, that this is a lifetime of work Mm. for every single one of us. This is our life's work. And this is actually what my next book is about, is this journey of IntelliKey. We have a dynamic code within us, which is held by the intelligence of our soul. And it's guiding us towards this full expression. And I'm going to take us back and sort of come full circle on my story about the cancer. Mm -hmm. When I received my breast cancer diagnosis, I began to relate to myself and that illness in a very, very different way than the way I was relating to myself when I had that frozen shoulder. This was now suddenly something that was very important, but it was not something that I was flying a victim flag around. This was something that I was very curious about. How had I gotten myself into such an imbalance in my life that it was expressing as cancer? Now, it's very important to say we can never know the soul's journey. We can never know, you know, our ego mind wants to understand and will seek to understand for our whole life. And the soul has its own intelligence and our ego is kind of along for the ride, right? And that's why we have to let go and surrender to the places that we're being taken. Through my cancer journey, I began to see myself from a higher place. I began to witness my own ego dynamics, my own conditioning, my own limiting patterning that I was confining my life with. And I had deep compassion for that, right? Because everybody's doing the best they can. Really, at the end of the day, everyone is doing the best that they can. And I was doing the best that I could. And I was a result of the choices that I had made in my life. And I was a result of the upbringing that I had, you know, been a part of. And my parents were doing the best that they could and their parents were doing the best that they could. So I began unraveling all of these misunderstandings and these misidentifications and these things that just weren't really true. The limiting bounds that I kept myself confined in 
And it was my cancer journey that invited me to witness my humanness with such respect and reverence and honor for the journey that we make in this life. 